So the next, the next wonder of the world are our Panthera buildings. It's our training centre and the people that we're training there are changing the world. So the truth is we work on everything here from butterflies to bats, from rodents to primates. But a lot of the guys that work here, and particularly the people we train, are fascinated by big cats, hence the marvellous panther sculpture we have here. And this is our Panthera Training Centre, where I really believe we're training the world. Each year, we scan the world to find the eight or ten most enterprising, most committed, most talented young conservation professionals from often rather humble backgrounds and generally from the poorest countries in the world. And we give them the opportunity, fully funded as a result of the sponsorship that we enjoy, to come here and study total immersion, total immersion for seven months. They live here, we've got our teaching facility, we've got common rooms, kitchen, dormitories, and they live as a community working together to understand conservation. These people come from all over the world. We've had people from the emerging economies, from Brazil, Russia, China, India, and from the poorest countries in the world. We've had people from throughout Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Central African Republic, part of the bottom billion countries, people in the world. And we've also throughout Indochina had people from Cambodia, from Laos, from Vietnam, from also from Bhutan, from Myanmar. So everywhere you go around the world, we're influencing conservation, training people, training the trainers. The other day, I was at a breakfast meeting in Rwanda, in Kigali, with the African Leadership University. It's a wonderful institution. And there were 10 Africans from different countries at the breakfast. And every single one of them had met and worked with one of our diploma students or one of our graduate students. I'd never met any of them before. Every single one of them had been touched by people that we train. The absolutely wonderful thing about our Wild Crew Panthers, our diploma students, is that each year our community here is enriched and we learn from them as much as they learn from us by eight or ten people from Bhutan to Borneo to Brazil who spend seven months here with us. Each year a new map of the world, a new community of people going out to impact conservation and actually it's been pretty successful and I'm just thrilled to tell you that that uh, Queen Elizabeth gave us her award for higher education for saying that our course was the best thing in Britain that year. So imagine the, the pride, the joy of being able to take young wild crew panthers from Indochina, from Africa, from South America to Buckingham Palace to meet and to be personally congratulated by the Queen. <laughs>